Hello again everybody, Jim Hickey here. I uh, was on the Chris Farrell membership forum uh, earlier tonight and I saw a post where somebody asked about how one goes about putting or adding a video onto a, uh, a website. And for those of you who know me, I've been working on this site for a while, or actually not for a while, for about the last week or so. Uh, and it's relative to a bass fishing theme and going out and sharing some information and uh, building some listing and do some future marketing. But uh, as of this point in time, my blog exists and is starting to take shape. I have a squeeze page for giving away a free gift that I've developed. Um, but this is going to be the actual home site eventually, and I'm taking some time as I develop that. So I put this up there so that you know this was already in place. And initially, um, it didn't have this information in it right here. Um, actually, it just had the information above and below here. And um, what did I do with that? Let me grab something quickly here. There we go. I mean, here's the original site, the way it was developed. I've decided to add that little message in here saying that I'm going to, you know, put in a, a video and it's going to rotate. You know, every every week or so I'll change out the video so there's fresh content in case somebody starts visiting this thing on a regular basis. Um, but in the meantime, the real reason I was doing this is so you can see exactly how to do it. So what I've done is I've actually gone in and I've already started to edit this page, or at least a copy of it, um, where I added this one little sentence here that says, while the site is being created, I will be posting interesting videos uh, below on a rotating basis to keep the info fresh. You know, hoping, hopefully to get them back and you, you can see the link below here is out to my blog, so trying to keep them engaged. But at any rate, the other thing you might notice here is I put in this line of X's. And anybody who's, uh, well, if you're a member of Chris's site, you know, and, and a lot of what he does when he's adding in opt-in forms and things like that, you know, onto pages that already exist, he uses that little X trick. And I've done that before on blogs and other things, okay? So what do I want to do? Well, I want to add in, in this case, a YouTube video. So I'm going to go back out to um, YouTube. I'm going to switch over here. Here's a nice little video that I found on YouTube that I want to go and add to my site. So over here on the right, underneath the description of what this is all about, there is the URL for the site. So you can put that into some sites. You know, if you're in forums and whatnot that doesn't want the embed code, uh, just want a URL, that's the YouTube URL you would use. Uh, but here's the embed code that I want. Now I've already dropped down a little selection menu here. Uh, made sure that I don't want related videos that I want to be sending away from the site. Uh, in this case, I'd normally show a border, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave the border off. I did select the color because it will kind of theme this thing a little bit, and that's kind of the coloration I have going on the uh, on the uh, website that I'm in the process of developing, or at least my current landing page. So I'm going to come back up here to the embed code in order to start this process process where I can add this video onto this page. Okay, so if I left click in that box, it lights it all up. Now if I hit the right click button, it opens up this little window, I go down and copy. Okay. Now I can go back to Composer, because that's actually where I was doing my editing. Um, and here I'm going to want to put this YouTube video right here where this, these X's are. Well I'm going to go down to the bottom, let me scroll this up for a minute, and you may recall that down here there's different modes that you can be looking at the window in. Currently I'm in the normal mode, there's HTML tags, don't do much with that, but there's the HTML, HTML source. If I click on that button, it brings up all the code for the site. Okay? And if you look through here, you know, look carefully, you can kind of see while the site is being created, there's that line and on a rotating basis. Okay? So I look down here, and oh, here's my X's right here. Okay? So what I want to do is go back here, holding down the left mouse button, highlight all these X's. Now if I hit the right mouse button, excuse me, a little tongue tied there, uh, come down here to paste, the X's go away, it actually pastes in the YouTube code, and if I go back to normal mode, I can see that it's actually gone in and it's, you know, basically put something into place. It has this little object thing in here. Now, another thing you may remember about Composer, I'm going to slide this down for a minute. You know, we can actually check this out ahead of time before we publish it. 
So if I hit the little browse button up here, I can see exactly how this will look on the web. Okay. It's going to, um, yes, I'll, I'll save this. There we go. It's going to go out, open up another window, just like this thing was live on the web, and lo and behold, there it is. Okay. So here's my slightly altered site. Okay. If I scroll down, you, know, you can see the what was there before. And here's the line I added. Here's the video in place. Click play. Go out to YouTube. Grab the information and we can watch um, Skeet Grease catch a... Uh, well, I guess this is a spotted bass the first time around in a smallmouth bass on something called a drop shot rig. For anybody who's into bass fishing, you'll know what that means. But at any rate, I hope that helps. Um, and I hope you find this useful. And be looking forward to doing more of these things in the future. Have a wonderful day.